is it looks like there's a chance that I'm going to be taking this Thruxton out. Thruxton 900. Apparently it's like a Bonneville, right? Yeah. Okay. What kind of price range is this thing going for? Oh, I, I don't know that. You don't know that? No. Okay, you're fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. I'm, I'm just kidding you. Yeah, I'll hire you back. But that's a good looking bike, isn't it? For shizzle. Does this have uh, more horsepower than the T100? No, nope, no. Nope. Same engine. Same engine, okay. Yeah. It probably does this one because it does have the Aero 2 into 2 exhaust, so it's okay. quite nice. <laughs> okay. Very nice sounding. Yeah, and the other ones, the T100 sound really nice. Yeah. Shooter exhaust? Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, I wonder that little windshield would that be would that be enough to do the trick then? Because I noticed that that one there could have used a windshield. Oh, it is. eh? it's not enough to do. Okay. Well, hopefully I get, this is to be the bike that I can uh, ride next then. If he doesn't show up, then uh, what can you do, right? What's that old saying? What's that old saying? You snooze, you lose. He shows up. You snooze, yeah. Oh, okay. If he shows, he gets the bacon. But if he snoozes, he loses. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Does this come with ABS? It does not. Okay, do, do any of the, these ones come with ABS? Uh, only the more... Like the sport bike things, yeah, right? Okay. Or even the adventure ones with the Tiger okay. Explorer. The okay. 800. Okay. Well, I'll give this one a try if he doesn't show up. Otherwise, I'll be going with the, uh, the other one. You don't need to touch the throttle on this one when you fire it up. You need to? No, you need to. <laughs> Right, but it's good.
Okay, so I just finished the uh, test ride on the Thruxton 900, and I gotta say, uh, there's some things that really impressed me about it. Uh, well, the power, the torque, everything, but you know what's really impressive is this little windshield here. Man, I was going at 120, and I didn't get any kind of helmet buff at all. It was just amazing. Um, the uh, the gears, uh, a little bit tight down there, right? I don't know if you can see it or not. Quite quite different than the uh, T100, but uh, you know I didn't get any shoulder strain or wrist strain, and it and the mirrors, the the little oval mirrors, they're they're really great. You can see a lot. Uh, it blew away a lot of my uh, conceptions about a kind of a cafe racer. It kind of put the the best things in it, and I would have to say that uh, this is this is a, would be a serious consideration. Uh, for someone like myself, if, if I was going to upgrade, th this would definitely be on the list. You know, as much as the uh, Bondville T100, it, it's definitely, definitely a buy reading for this bike.